Never mind who you thought I was. I'm Kelly Boy. Bitch. Yo, 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 what's up? It's your boy, Cali Boy, doing it again with another episode of What's in Your Garage. I got a wagon for y'all. I know y'all been asking for them. I think y'all gonna like it. Let's check it out. Junior, I'm ready whenever you are, big dog. Let's get it, y'all. Oh. There it is. Oh yeah, man, let's go and pull this out so we can uh, get in detail on this bad boy. Season three, suckers. See why y'all wanting wagons, okay? Ah, uh, set it up. Oh, we yeah, let's go and open this bad boy up, man. Because I know they like, man, open, open, open. We got straight this bad boy is. Y'all ain't ready. Y'all is not ready. Yeah, you wanna go ahead and get the tailgate too. I'm gonna get the motor. Oh, y'all wasn't expecting that, huh? Look at my man Serpentine uh, kit. Man, she's a beaut. I know y'all used to Chrome coming out with something new. Let me get up close on this. I like that. I love these filters whenever you get a carburetor, man. Let me make sure I get all of this. Man, this is pretty much a brand new 62, huh? Basically. <laughs> it still has the original plastic wrap from the factory on the seat. Oh, you know I'm gonna get that. Look, they probably like, what are you talking about here real quick? Let me give you a little sneak peek. Okay, that's a little too much for now. I'll come back to that. Man. Oh, yeah. We're going to have some questions on this one. I like these. I never even realized you had no uh, no ears. Mm -hmm. You just added that? You showed too much. Ah, <laughs> hey, homie. I'm showing all that. <laughs> that's some good shit right there. What y'all know about this? <laughs> White walls, nice and clean. Look at them. Mandatory. Hey, you know what I'm saying? The style way, right? <laughs> Man, let me get the side view for y'all. I know y'all want to see that. Go ahead and get your, your screenshot on real quick. It's cool. Fully engraved molding, gold. Get this back half. Then we're going to the interior. Look at that. I love how you made that box look original. Yeah, we made it, uh, made it match the door panels on the interior. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see that. That's a good touch, man. Of course, style, in case y'all wasn't knowing. SoCal. Like that, bro. Go open the doors for me. I hate opening up people's doors. Yeah, no, you can get the door, but I got you. <laughs> this is saucy right here. It has ghost patterns and everything. I see that. I don't know if I even knew that till right now. It's got, it's got a couple colors up there. <laughs> So a lot of y'all is probably like, what's going on with these seats? My man, real quick, go ahead and tell them what's going on with these with these covers. From the factory, you can order your 62 with the plastic cover on the seats to protect your seats for a long time. 
I'm the second owner of this here station wagon, and the first owner ordered the factory covers from the from the Chevy dealership from the catalog. And he's got the little advertisement right there on the dash right there when they were advertising plastic for the seats. Where are you gonna find that? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I, I gotta go there and look, look at that myself. That's original. <laughs> Lifetime guarantee. Lifetime guarantee right there. And they've been holding up. What? Y'all see it. We even got the accessory razor that they sold for the car because this was a camping car back then. The station wagon. That's too dope, man. So look, most people when the top goes down, the price goes up. My man's price went up because his seats. Y'all wasn't ready for that. Maybe we got something else right here too. Man, that's what's up. This is the look, cause I have never seen this. I'm trying to read it as I'm filming it. Razor? Yeah, it's a razor. What? You can shave on the road. <laughs> for uh, station wagons. Man, that is too dope, man. I want to bump my doors and come out. And this is a Bel Air, but it was ordered with a lot of the Impala, Impala. Oh, Grazer. It was pieces. ordered with a lot of the Impala accessories from the factory, like the cove molding in the back. Yeah, let's get that. <laughs> the cove molding in the back was the accessory that they sold, because on most 62 wagons, it's paint the color of the car. Mm. So it matches up with the 62 two door hardtops that they made. Original code. That's sick right there, man. Like these little touches you got going on up in here too, man. Now this back window's electric. That one's manual. This is manual? Okay. Yeah. Basically you lift this up right here and you go ahead and turn it. I didn't even know that. I always wondered where the handle was. Now you know. <laughs> hey, I learn something new every day. Man. Skirts. I'm looking good. We get down here. 520s on there. Man, nothing but the best for this bad boy. Let me get some more of that dash. I like, I like. Okay, okay. Ooh. Get from outside real quick. And she's like brand new or anything.
questions and answers. Do I stare at this thing? Yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah, just always answer here. Just, right, you know, do I need to put the little there. teddy bear right there? No. <laughs> no. Alright. I'll be late. <laughs> Alright, wait for the pass. She coming out? You coming out, Isabel? Or uh, Faith? Or uh, yeah, Burb? Right. Whatever, which one you are. <laughs> Shit. Go ahead and say your names and the name of the car club and what city we're in. First name is Keith. That's Junior. Where are we? Rancho Cucamonga. <laughs> Beautiful city of Rancho Cucamonga. It is. Too bad it's over, uh, overcast, though, know, but, you yeah, know. Yeah, that's what it's supposed to be today, though, because that's what's, you know, we're doing an interview, so. <laughs> you didn't want the sun in your face anyway. We all fucked up, so. <laughs> all right, look, I'm almost falling. Uh, okay, does the car have a name? Winnie. Winnie. Winnie, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Any any particular reason behind it? It's uh, right Wonder here. Years. <laughs> Really? Are you serious? Yeah, I know about money. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I noticed your shirt, man. You, you want to tell us about, you know, that uh, Connected Concepts? I've been owning a shop for 17, 18 years. Same location. Specialized in uh, air ride, hydraulics, all your engine work, restoration work, all that stuff. Whatever you need, we could probably do it for you. If not, we'll point you in the right direction. Yes, sir. You uh, you remember when, when I dropped off my back in my import days? I used to drop off my, my I wagon. I think that was probably what 17, 18. Man, years that was ago. a long time ago, bro. Yeah, I still I got found pictures. pictures on yeah. yeah, I found them. I put them on the wall. I was looking at it like, you know, what's funny is he told me a story about you know he wanted the step to be removed because he had kids. And stuff yeah, like yeah, that. yeah. Yep. Yeah, but that was before its time because nobody was doing chrome setups and nah. hardline and shit. Like yeah, that. yeah, I want a hardline. I want I wanted it all. And a Honda Accord <laughs> station wagon on top of that. But that was the shit back then. So yeah, yeah. And it's slowly coming back now. It is. It yeah. is, man. You I see, I would that to the low riders, not so much the new stuff. But yeah. if they come in, I'm gonna turn down money. So. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, I feel you on that, brother. Um, so within this build, any any regrets in, in building it? Yeah, I do regret. <laughs> I should have put it on the lift and stripped this thing down and, and ran through everything, but it's kind of hard to build a car in a garage because I can't really take this to my shop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's taking, taking up a spot. Taking the space. And spot is money. So <laughs> she got done in the garage here. 99% um, of it was done right here. Okay. So, you know, it's a lot of work to do motor work and. She's had three or four different motors in here. I've heard. So, you know, <laughs> she told me. Off. You know, you, you name it, we've done it right here, you know. So. Okay. So, this is pretty much going to be more or less a garage build then? Pretty much, yeah. Okay, yeah. man. And it looks good. It's a father and son build. Yeah. Okay. Look, he had, to, he had to make sure you yeah, put yeah. that in there. A lot of the people that worked on the car. We The rest of the family were there to watch. <laughs> a lot of the things that were done on the car by other people, the striper, the, yeah. the uh, pattern, the guy, that was all done in the garage. They too. all came from Really? Yeah. You want to you want to go ahead and give them a shout out? Want to mention them? Coast One, Carlos. I'm sure everybody knows who he is. Yes, He's sir. The man, when it comes to uh, any of the patterns, candies, pearls, fadeaways, whatever you guys need, he's he's the man. We got um, we Phillip, have uh, Philip and Phyllis Fine, Fine Lines, considered to me to be one of the best in the business. Uh, yes, sir. Also came right here. Real cool cat. Uh, we got Edgar Casaneda for the uh, engraving. engraving. Uh, we caught him a few years ago when his prices were decent. <laughs> now, you know, he's he made a real good name for himself and, and prices are double. But I got you, Carlos. You're doing great work. Uh, uh, who else? Noel uh, at Proline Collision right here in Rancho Cucamonga did the paint. Okay. Uh, great dude. If you guys need any work done, he's the man to go to in paints, and out. Honest guy. all of our cars. Uh, who else? So Lorenzo, One Way, Hydraulics out there in LA for the wheels. Hey, One Way tires. in the house. Yeah. <laughs> Real cool cat, man. He's got yeah, a lot of cool, stuff man. going I on over him. there, so you might want to go check him out, too. Um, um, this one I, I, I did want to mention. The, the paint. This has been repainted, right? Yeah, yeah. Same color. Original color. Just, I think it's a second paint job. Man. So I had it redone when we got it. Just blast the sides. Doors had the top off. done. Doors uh, were taken off to do the door jams and everything like that. So. And okay. It's got a Kia color on the top. I don't know what it's from. Kia Forte or some shit. <laughs> when I did it, a lot of people were like, "You painting the top green?" I didn't right. listen to him. Obviously, it's green. Thank and you. Everybody that sees it, 
They love it, right? They're like, damn, I never thought about that. Is that funny how that happens? <laughs> yeah, every, every, when we were going to paint it, they kept telling us to paint the top white. White? Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, color is white. Yeah, yeah, that's too simple. Yeah, everybody does white. They damn near came white, right? Didn't it come white? Uh, who knows? Who cares? <laughs> it ain't white now. It ain't never gonna be white. So, it's Kia Green now. You know, it's Kia Green with some badass patterns on the top. <laughs> yeah, I got those too. I also want to say thank you to my partner, Shy, or also our installer. He helped me a lot with this build right here, you know? Right hand man, without him, ain't shit happening. Now, he just yeah. ain't an installer, he's a true friend. You know, whatever you need, he's you, right there. You need that in this game. Oh yes, oh yes, there's only two of us, so we make a lot of magic happen in a small amount of time, and in a small shop too. Yeah, yeah. You know, we only take on what we can take on, that's why we, we don't hold on to cars like, you know. Those are shops. Out, you know? <laughs> but, I'm getting that on my podcast, we'll go ahead. <laughs> yeah. yeah. How, long, how long did this build take? I put this together in maybe four months, three months. Five, five, yeah, five, four. To and five. you know, what? I believe you because because when I helped you sell the '62, this popped up, and the next thing I know, it was like ready to go. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I was like, did you buy it, man? Yeah, we move fast. I move fast. Right. I took money away from the wife. You know, I call that the stimulus package. You know, she's gonna see this, right? She's Matter of fact, she's behind me, she's yeah. She's asking how much I got put away for the next car, but we're not going into that. That's a whole nother thing. We ain't hiding no that's secrets that's today. That's what's in your pocket, not what's in your garage. So, some but it takes what's in your pocket to make what's in your garage. So, some, some, yeah. uh, some money is reserved for a Cadillac. Or yeah, car. we got a yeah. fleet wheel we got building. So, yeah, Jim, you telling me. The wheels, the wheels the and the grill over there. Yeah, look, you get us out some gold. Kit. If anybody got a bumper kit. Hit the number on the back of the t-shirt when we turn around. They go they they go quick, man. They yes, go quick. They, do. they think they gold inside platinum. <laughs> there is, man. It's uranium in the middle of them bad boy. I guess, <laughs> I guess so. I guess that justifies the price. Yeah, yeah that, that justifies it. Let's go back to the shot recruit because, because I did want to ask that. How long how long you been in business? Because you've been a businessman for a long time. About 17 years. Yeah. Let me, let me correct that because uh -oh. you don't have the greatest memory. He's been in the same spot for 20 years now, the same location. See? I remember yeah, that. It's, it's been a long time. I mean, and that's good. You know, a lot of people, you know, they bounce around. That's good, man. Yeah. We're actually, we managed to hold on. You we're know, actually it's, uh, it's looking good, bad. upsize our building. You know, okay. We've gotten to that point now where we need to go ahead and do an upgrade. And that's a plus. That's a good thing. It is. It is. It's a good and a bad thing because I don't want to get a bigger shop and do what most of these shops do. Take the pods, put them in the corner, and forget about them. Then we got problems. <laughs> that's the it's worst. It's kind of like going to the paint shop. <laughs> I know you guys know about that. Everybody prison. been in paint prison. <laughs> yeah. So I don't want to be that guy. So the smaller shop, in, as, in a sense, to me, is kind of a headache because I have to pick and choose what I can do. Mm -hmm. But that keeps the, the in and out. So yeah. uh, in that sense, most people are pretty happy, and I keep I keep them in and out. That's the way I want to do it. You do? Yeah, because I remember back in my day, I was in and out. I gave you a list of everything I wanted done. You was like, you, you, want, you want to do that? Like, yeah. <laughs> yep. Oh, I'm doing wagon. <laughs> But, yeah. And my truck. I don't know if you remember that. Uh, man, I can't remember yesterday. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I took two to you before I left took Cali. Cars out a week, you know, doing cars for SEMA, SEMA builds and okay. stuff like that. So, you know. So for, with, with the uh, with the Impala, well, with the, with the wagon, I know you were saying that you're going to make some changes to it. So right now it's currently on bags, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm about to cut it. I just haven't figured out um, what I want to do as far as that. What product I want to put. If I want to go new, mm -hmm. uh, double whammy stuff, I want to go the old school, you know, gravity feed. Right, right. Or build a 90, 90 setup like I did for his Lincoln that I, mm. that I built for him. Uh, you know, steel blocks, old square dumps, maybe some little hydro or something like that. Right, right. I haven't figured it out yet. I just, it's up here. It's just, it's just coming. Just coming. Yeah, you said that's it. Right after, as soon as I turn the camera off, you're about to take it, right? Yes. Exactly. <laughs> and, 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 over here. and we're about to strip all the gold back off and replay it because it's got three years on it so it's man yeah it's, it's gonna cost curious. a little pretty penny but i don't like to go to car shows especially with gold and Fade it doesn't gold. look right and to me this i mean it's right there at that point right before it, it starts be getting done. there i know what you're talking yeah. about a lot of people they don't realize that they just put it on there and it'll be on there for 20 years of like yo you, you gotta take it off and yeah, redo it it's like shit, man at what point do you say <laughs> man it's about that time because you're going in the garage and looking at that thing and saying, damn, that, that shit looks crazy. Right, and they should be able to see you because I mean, if you're really wiping down your car, you, you know. stimulus check out? <laughs> I need to get this redone. <laughs> so something that, that my viewers like to hear, what, what did it take for you, for you guys to get here? I mean, obviously, you know, the business, 
what, what do you want to tell I guess somebody that's looking at this video like man you know like, how, how can I get to where you are money go out and get it because it ain't coming to you this is true you know life's a struggle it ain't easy building these cars it takes a lot of money going into these things it's a hobby it's an expensive hobby I'm yeah. blessed to have a you know I'm not doing good but I'm doing better than the average so with that I'm blessed with building cars and having having nice stuff so I'm cool with what I do I'm cool with uh, the lifestyle you know right can't complain I can't complain looking good if I did nobody would hear it anyway <laughs> so it's pretty wow. simple but yeah it takes money you got to go out there and get it if you want something nice you know it's I'm not saying you got to have a shop to do it but you got to go out and get a good job to pay somebody to do it and it's that's where it gets expensive. Absolutely and a lot right. of these cats put their money in the wrong spot or the wrong shop, and you get off on the wrong side of that, you'll never get it done. Yeah, that's when you know it's on Instagram on Cali Cali <laughs> Trader getting sold as a project. You know yep. what I'm saying? Yeah, hey, I got a lot of those. What they got into it, and I know you know what I'm talking about. I'm looking for one right now. Six five hard top. Come see me. Call me. Anything that you, that you guys are into that that we might not know. Money. <laughs> I would never guess that one. <laughs> it's all about money. You can't yeah. do nothing without it. I don't have any other hobbies. I come home and I go to work. Straight to the point. I the car into cars. I take care of the family. That's about it. Other than that, I don't really do too much. I watch Ozark on Netflix. He gets bored and buys pets. Uh oh, see, look, see, that's what I was looking for. I got a zoo in the house. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Bulldogs and all kinds of I saw of the bulldog. Here. Yeah. Rabbits and guinea pigs. Oh man! Yeah. Cats. My my pops gets bored and he goes on these My little stuff. mini. He goes rogue. And it's one hey, day. what's that guy's name on 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 Netflix right now? The the Tiger King. What's yeah, Tiger King. It was uh, it was Karen Baskin's phone. I'm telling you guys, she killed her husband. Yeah. Lock her up. Take her tigers away because it's not real. Okay, all right. It was let's a see. Good documentary. I was laughing. It was. It was. It was. Right, they're supposed they're going to be bringing out another one. Some yeah. well, like you know, another. Now they know that the right really did it. You know? <laughs> Everybody's on it. Everybody knows. The whole goddamn country saying Carol Baskin is responsible for the COVID yeah. and her husband. A <laughs> uh, question I, I like to ask the you know the people that I film: five twenties or radials? Uh, no question about it, 520s. Unfortunately, we have to roll as cokers. And I know, uh, you know, the average dude doesn't really look between a coker and a premium sportway or, or the OG 520s. But the OG 20s are getting so expensive if you can find them. Um, and then you got a safety issue. These things have been on the shelf for <laughs> 20 years. Uh, you know, you put them on your shit and hopefully you can make it down the road. And, but that's 520s no matter if you buy a new Coker 520 or an or, OG oh. 520, you got the same same problem. You're putting a trailer tire on, on a full-size yeah. car. Uh, you know, it's supposed to be on a Toyota Celica and shit, or a trailer, <laughs> not a not an Impala. But unfortunately or fortunately, that's what low riding is started on, and that's what it's going to end on, 520s. Radios, they, may, they look good. You know, Remington makes a beautiful tire. But it's not a 520. <laughs> Shout out Remington. No. <laughs> uh, you know, they, uh, some of these tires look really good. You get the cheap Tiger Paws and the Wolf Kings and all that other China shit. I see you guys on Instagram trying to buff them with a Puma Stone in your old lady's bathroom. Go spend the money. Go get some quality shit. Okay, if it don't Tiger turn paws. white, get a white marker. They sell it on Instagram or whatever. I've seen it. Get it. You need it. People buy white, white walls matter. Take your, <laughs> they matter. Take your stimulus package and go buy you some real tires. That's One it. way's got them over there, pretty yeah, cheap. I, 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 I go to a lot of these shows and they got a super clean car, and I look, it just comes down to the shoes. The brown white walls. walls are brown. Sometimes they match the color. And if you're too brown. big or whatever, you know, some of you guys are big like myself. You can't really get down there to get that white wall. They even have detailers. You might get your son or your daughter, maybe your wife. She might be smaller than you. Get down there and get it done. It's pretty simple. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly what I need. Yeah, yeah. Exactly what I need. There's a lot of people out there that don't pay attention to that. There's nothing worse than seeing somebody that spent three grand on some wheels and got them and, brown and got, walls. I got $150 worth of tires. It don't make any sense.
Anybody ever try to buy this from you guys? Anybody like, yo, man, I gotta have yeah. that. No, no. But everything has a price on it. You know what I'm saying? Even my, my daughter won't let me sell it, but I tell you what, everything has a price on it. So <laughs> she's speaking in the background. If you this in Japan and Australia, <laughs> I don't care where you're from, Bitcoin, whatever. <laughs> Come holler at me. Maybe we can work something out. You know what I'm saying? Um, you can. I'm at the two salesmen over here. Oh, yeah. Come get it. Come get it. She okay. might even be uh, with the new setup when you do come get it. So it's going to be a little bit more. She going to be juice. But come see me. I, I got you. All right. We'll, we'll be back. Yeah, I hope so. Right. When we come back, people are going to be happy to go to work. And stay you, and hey, like, for real. Happy to see each other. They're going to be like, yeah, we're going to work. You know what I'm saying? Hey, that's going to last the first week, and it's going to be back to the end I got to go to work. Man, fuck this shit. Where that coronavirus at? Where the Rona at, dog? Hey, when it's the truth, go watch. <laughs> the first week, they're going to be happy. I got a check coming. It's kind of like the first week when they got laid off, and I'm going to pay you for one week, and then catch unemployment. <laughs> the unemployment rolled in. They're like, damn, this ain't my regular yeah, yeah, yeah. pay. This ain't life right Bullshit. here. <laughs> Might as well be on the fucking county, dog. <laughs> yeah. How long uh, How long you been in low riding? How long you been in the game yourself? I've been putting cars together since I was about 14 years old. Okay. I did some crazy stuff when I was younger to get that money. And I had a 6.5 hardtop. Back then, you go to the Pomona Swap Meeting and got a 65 hardtop for 2,500 bucks. Those days are gone. Way hopefully. gone. <laughs> and and that, was, that was a car that, you know, was pretty much original, new paint. Yeah. Um, original interior, original motor, original trans, all numbers matching. That, that these days... 15, 20 grand, easy. You should see him at the shop. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Um, so, well, I'll let the whiffer come out. Somebody's gonna call the shop and be like, we need you uh, on camera. Be our spokesperson. About time. I wish you would. Before they, they take their, pick up their car or anything, I detail their Gotta car clean and I, I clean their white walls. So well, that's like, what's up. I'm making white. Like they're brand new or something. Well, at least, at least you guys are detailing. Like, you know, a lot of people drop the car. You know, it'd be dusty, dirty. Oh, that's, that's I've had I've Go car, wash it, homie. Uh, I've had my <laughs> car like that when I picked it up, and believe me, uh, it makes it hard to go back to those shops. Yep. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, but that is the truth. Simple things that matter when it comes to people's cars, because a lot of the time the cars will come to our shop. It's cleaner when it leaves than when it came in. Yeah. 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 You know. I mean, that, uh, I mean, but that's how I wanted to be. If I just paid you to get something done, I want to go cruising. I'm right. Gonna, you know what I mean? I want to go. Good money. I don't want to pick up. My get a detail real quick. Like, then go cruise. Right. <laughs> exactly. Or go home. And mess yeah. With I gotta go wash it real yeah. quick. Right. 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 I, it's a pet peeve right there. But other than that, man, I just, everybody's got their own flow. Everybody's mm -hmm. got their own cars. If we all drove the same shit and had the same shit, we all looked the same. So, exactly. with that in mind, I don't really care about wheels, tires, and all the paint jobs. Everybody's doing their own thing. They are. You know what I mean? Everybody's you know, that's what got I their own money and with their own budget they got to deal with. You start off with a Regal, end up with a 59 Rack. Yeah. I mean, I don't know how it goes down, but it happens and it can happen. The hustle, you know, homie. <laughs> a it. true hustle, yeah, you know what I mean? Exactly. I mean, that, that's how it's supposed to be. Get it, you know what I mean? Because nobody, I don't think anybody's ever came to me and gave me nothing. Nada. You know, so I've had to do it on my own. So, uh, you know, it's called the hustle. That's all it is. You gotta it's have true. it in you. What uh, what type of music are y'all playing whenever you uh? Everything. When I'm with my kids and shit, I don't like to play all that. You know, it, you know what I'm saying. You know, but I don't necessarily yeah. want to play love songs all the way down yeah. the street either. So, yeah. you know, we play a lot of everything. You know, just kind of mix it up a little bit. Depends on where we're going and who we're with. Yeah, yeah, it's true. A lot true. of the club members are old folks, so you know they don't want to hear. Them. No cussing or anything like you know, that. Yeah. You know who you are. <laughs> that means the whole club. <laughs> right? it's like, oh man. Yeah, yeah. Everybody. Uh, okay. Li I listen to a lot. No of that. gospel music. Yeah, you no. can play that in your car, but it doesn't come out of mine. You know what I mean? Uh, I listen to a lot of uh, Snoop Dogg and Mac Ten. 
90 stuff. Yeah, pretty yeah, much. Yeah, I'm yeah, not bro. too much, even though I'm 18, mm. I'm not too much for my generation. I'm more stuck in the 90s. And yeah, I mean, that's, that's pretty much how it is. And it's, yeah. Not into the hooks and all that shit they got in music these days. You yeah, know nah. I mean? It's like the same shit over and over. <laughs> no club bangers in other one? Not in this club. Yeah, nah. <laughs> all right. A <laughs> uh, question I normally like to ask the people, uh, do you have a favorite car from a movie or, or a TV show? Any car that you was like, man, you know, one day, you know, if I ever really hit it, I would, I would like to buy that car or duplicate that car? No, nah, because I wouldn't duplicate anything that anybody's ever done before. Yeah, sure. I mean, everything's already been done, let's be honest. Mm -hmm. We're just putting a little twist on everything that one man's already done. Yeah. There's some badass lowriders out there. A lot of them came from the 80s, 70s, 80s, early 90s, and they're Even still out now. there. I like those cars myself. I like the multi-patterns. I like the, the bright colors, lifestyle colors, you know. Yeah, they this do put some bright colors. This is probably the dullest car I've ever owned, color-wise. All my other cars, tangerines, greens. Really? Super bright right, colors, yeah. yeah. But it flows so well, like it's, it's yeah, like, it's perfect. Well, uh, this was already painted this color, so mm. it kind of didn't make no sense into, you know, putting some wild ass shit on here. Right, right. It was right. already really clean, so, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, and the seats with the covers and, it's kind of this car is kind of mixed up mm. for real because it's got i like motor i mm -hmm. like performance i see that and i like the style of that but it's low rider mm -hmm. on on the outside and the hot rod on the inside yeah everything know. underneath there is all hopscotch suspension i saw spray that bar and everything mm -hmm. it's all she's like i said she's made as a driver yeah, yeah i see that she's got a, a blueprint 355 punched out like 450 horse okay all the holly shit you know i mean it's when the white boys open up the hood, they, they know what they're looking yeah, at. Yeah, they do. You know what I mean? It, it costs you can hear rumbling, you know, too. With, with our old motor, you know, we used to come through the parking lot. Had a stroke we we did one. not fit in with the crowd because, you know, <laughs> we had that motor. She was pretty loud. She was speaking. Yeah. <laughs> my, my 63 was like that. I, was, yeah. I don't know. It was something stroked out. Yeah, it was. Well, when, they, when you pull over and you open up the hood, everybody that heard it come through the parking lot mm -hmm. wants to know what the hell's in that thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, it sounds like a fucking race car, dude. People's <laughs> eyes are getting all watery <laughs> from me driving past it. Exhaust. Yeah, from the exhaust. It's crazy. Yeah, huh? Sounds uh, good. Real, real quick, some random questions on this one. Cause, you know, I know some people's probably going to ask, is that a nine-inch rear end on the rear? or did you have to yeah. So no, no, you didn't have to shorten it or anything? No, no. and it's still got the factory pan hard bar on it. Yeah. Really? Yeah, and the wheels in the back are 13 by 7. Yeah, yeah. Pieces. I see that. I see that. Yeah, we modified the latch on there to hold the to hold the skirt on there mm. with the factory rear end. That's good. But okay. when I go to cut it real soon, I'm going to snatch Today. that out of there, <laughs> snort, shorten it up, and powder coat it. Have Young Gun over there, uh, Sam at Young Gun Powder Coating. Uh, he's the man to go see. He's got, He'll be taking care his, of that for His me. power color in black looks like chrome. You can see your reflection. Oh, you know, he's the man to go see. Only, yeah, I think I know who you guys are talking about. It's the Volkswagen bug guys they be using them. I think. Mm -hmm. yeah. Everybody that knows. Yeah. Guys, so. Random question that I that, I, that I'm, I'm start asking. What is your biggest fear? Fear? Yeah. Fear of dying. <laughs> yeah, ain't that true? <laughs> you know what I mean? But uh, I don't know when that's coming, so you can't fear something you don't know. You yeah, know? that is true. If you told me I was dying tomorrow, then I'd fear dying tomorrow. But unfortunately, you gotta live for today. I right? can't figure that one out. So every day is a new struggle. Everybody's got to go through that. I'm not immune to it. Hmm. Oh, hey, do you have any shout outs? Any thank yous y'all want to give? Yeah, big shout out to uh, Shy, my. Uh, partner at the shop like family to me he's been with me for quite a while he makes the ball keep rolling there's only two of us so um, shout out to my son you know he just started working at the shop he's learning a lot you know he's not there yet but he's getting there I'll get there and uh, shout out to all my customers I've had over the years um, Good and bad ones, you know. Uh, <laughs> as a shop owner, we all have our bad apples, but I do appreciate all the all the customers that have come through my door. You guys make it happen. Um, we do our best to do our best on all you guys' cars. Um, so with that in mind, we do appreciate that. You know, without you guys, nothing happens. So yeah, this is true. You know, you make the world go round as far as my world. So <laughs> much appreciated. All right, anything else? Anything else?
from you. No, brother. All right. Well, shoot, come shake hands on, on camera. Appreciate right. y'all letting right. me come out, my All baby right. dog. Yeah, that's right. Another one.